Ray there and welcome to this Marks Reviews and Tutorials video. Today we are going to be looking at uh, this uh, Handy Light Solar Roof Vent. This is like the big um, traditional um, whirly roof vent you can put on your house that um, spins around. This guy though is um, driven by solar power, the little fan underneath. Never had one of these before but wanted to give it a go so we're going to um, give it here. And uh, I'll, in this video, I'll just unbox it and show you putting it up and installing it. Very straightforward installation. Well, as per the packet, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I'll also put up another video once she's been up for a couple of months and uh, give you a review on it. But uh, as it shows here in the box, I'm just gonna open it up. Um, here for the installation, uh, this one is particularly for Australian installations. You can also get these um, for the States and other countries. I'll put a link in the description for where you can buy them. I'll find some ones that I think are good quality and uh, put a link through to there for you. But you can see here, um, with corrugated iron, you've actually got to cut out um, a piece of steel to a certain size, and that's easy done with a cutoff wheel in a grinder to cut out a piece of corrugated iron. Or if you've got a tiled roof, which is the installation I'm gonna do, you actually slide a tile, they're showing it coming out, but we'll slide him up and take him inside the roof to slide a tile. I'll show you how to get that out. Again, near the edges, you've got to be very careful with concreted edges and so forth, but we'll go through all that. And then put it in. And uh, here, they're showing the drill. You just drill into the base once you've slid that tile out. So hopefully she'll fit exactly like that. But uh, for now, we'll pull him out of the box and uh, see how he looks. And here it is. So it's all plastic and it has a, uh, a solar panel up on top. So on a sunny day, it's gonna be extracting heat out and uh, overnight it won't. So very interesting. Now here's the little tiny little motor and fan, which is what you want so it's quiet. Um, but let's take it out into the sun. As we come out here to the sun, yeah, look at that. She's starting up straight away. Yeah, and the angle you hold to the sun. So there you go. Being a solar panel, we're gonna to wanna to put it in the southern hemisphere, we wanna put it on the northern facing roof um, in order to get it to work properly. That's sucking a really good amount of air there. And uh, in the northern hemisphere, you wanna put it on a southern facing roof. But there she is. Um, solar paddle up on top, the roof vent that's going to keep all the storm and rain out. You can see the screw holes all around here um, and also the rain here. What what that ridge there is all about again is if you're sliding it under a tile or something it's going to keep the water running down here. So we'll go up on the roof, slide out a tile and uh, see how she's going to fit. Started this from underneath and just slid that tile to start with then we're able to work these out and um, get them out. And now we get to the fun stage of bringing this up and we can start to see um, how it's gonna go. It's running, of course, but um, here under this edge, we need to get it under that edge of that tile. And that's simply a matter of lifting this tile and sliding that under. And then once we slide that across, um, we'll be able to work out how much we need to cut off this tile here. We'll be able to slide him back into place. But tiles really are really good to work with. Okay, that is actually right across now. So if you see here, we can obviously put a screw in to hold this in place here, and we can slide this tile in order to put more screws to hold it in place. Um, but what we want down here is um, for this to be up above the tile so the water is shedding off on this side. So we're gonna tuck it under that top edge so the water comes in, make sure there's room for the water to flow around here. So this tile, Actually, I think he's going to be able to stay full size. Okay, so as you can see, I'm very impressed with this. That tile is going to go right back in place, right beside. It's got its little spill tray at the bottom. That side there is in place. 
that tile's going to slide down. I'm just going to screw it into that top batten there. These screws, I'll slide these tiles up so we can get some screws in across the top to hold it in place. But this is looking absolutely brilliant. Really, really fitting nicely. They have sized it so it'll go in one tile. There's not going to be any cutting of tiles necessary. And it's running now. It's um, running on solar power and pumping heat out. Okay, so you see here, this um, roll of foam came with the vent. We need to put the foam across the top and down the bottom, which is stopping any water um, from coming in and also just helping with the seal up here. So just need to unslide this tile. So putting this down here, which is just going to stop any water from coming in. So one across the top and I put it right across the top so the water stays in here and then one here down the side keeping the water in the, again in the trough. Yeah. Okay so now what we're going to do, we're going to lift this up into place and uh, we're going to screw it onto this top batten here. Uh, but I want to know where that tile is. So I'm going to lift this into place first and I'll position this and then I'll slide that tile up. So a matter of lifting this up out of the way. And up under there. And it does need to go right across. So then we can screw in this one screw here. And now that I've got the height marked, I can now slide this tile up and out of the way. There we go. So as you can see up the top here, I've got the two screws in holding it in place. That's not going anywhere at all. So we can now slide this tile back down um, and this tile back down and then put this one into place. Um, because we haven't had to cut a tile, that's made this installation really, really good. And what I will do, um, just to stop, I mean the water's not going to blow up there, I'll just slide these tiles down and we'll get it in. So this big plate on here is going to act like a big tile and keep all of that where we want it. And I also want that spare inside, not outside here. We've got foam on here, so be careful not to damage that. We need to get this guy in under there, and then slide him all the way up. So he needs to go. We need to stitch them in. So we need to lift this together. We need to just lift this one because this needs to go underneath matching so he slides up underneath and then this one comes down on the top and i'll show you how it looks when she's all done okay. um she's all in and uh the tiles are slid back that one there will go inside and just slide down that last little bit um but she's all in that was no cutting of tiles that was just slipping it in between tiles so i'd highly recommend this size and this one and it's running right now um, what I'm going to do, just because I'm me, that would be waterproof with these foam and with these tiles and everything else. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to seal just along that bottom edge there, um, as I said, so the air doesn't circulate through. And then um, from inside the roof, I'm going to seal um, between this tile here and the plastic on the back. So there's absolutely no chance this ridge would stop it. This foam would stop it, but I'm going to put a bit of silicon on both edges just because just I can and because it's easy. Up the top, there's a big gusset, it's fine. Um, but job done. Very happy with the installation. It's well designed so that it fits in one roof tile. Come back here, it looks the part. That's the size of the solar hot water service and the little solar roof vent um, is there. Really low, slim, looks fantastic, and it's going to run every day. I will put a comment in if it fails or breaks or anything like that. So have a look at when this video was uploaded. I'm installing this um, right on Christmas 2018. Um, so you get a bit of an idea of uh, how long she lasts. As I said, if it breaks, fails, I'll um, put a comment in. So, But I'm very impressed with this. It's so much nicer and neater and a lot more weatherproof than the um, spinning open vents as well. So 
really good. Keeps the moisture out in winter, keeps the um, heat out in summer. This house has uh, water pipes in the roof, so the water pipes actually heat up. You get hot water um, from the cold water pipes. So I'll also put a comment in, have a look about um, how it works if it on a hot day, if it stops that um, from happening. Because our cold water used to be really, really hot just from being up here under this black tile roof um, when it came out of the taps. So more feedback in the comments, just have a look there. And as I said, there's a link to purchase this uh, in the comments as well. Okay, so we're two months in. Uh, I've had this running for two months of summer and uh, I'm very happy with this uh, roof fence still. Firstly, you know, little thing from China, you don't know how long it's gonna last, but after two months, it's running like an absolute champion. Don't hear it, uh, just silently gets up there and sucks out the heat. And obviously on a sunny day, it runs all day, cloudy day it doesn't. So that works really, really well. The one thing I would fault with it, uh, here in Australia, we get long, hot summer days and the roof cavity gets a lot of heat in it. Now, with this solar fan, as soon as the sun goes down of an evening, it stops pumping. It doesn't keep on running like something blowing in the breeze um, would. So of, a, of an evening, um, it switches off and stops. So I think what I will do is put in a spinny vent as well. I've got a, a big enough roof that it should have um, two vents up there. So I'll put one of those in as well. But this is brilliant. I would always put one of these in. It draws out much, much more air. What I mentioned about the hot water pipes, that is drastically different. They still get a little bit warm, but nothing. It used to be burning hot come out from how hot it got up in the roof space. So massive difference. This is a big four bedroom house uh, with just one of these little fans and it's made a huge difference. Uh, as I said, the only one drawback is uh, on a hot night, uh, when it stays hot all night, that fan's not spinning anymore because the sun's gone away. But highly recommend it. Grab yourself one and uh, make it part of the system for um, cooling down your roof.